Hello everyone. Continuing with the week 3 on exceptions today, I am going to discuss the problem set 3 that is Phillips, uh, Phillips and Takaria. I have already created solution videos for fuel gauge and week 0, 1 and 2. If you have not watched it, I will share the link of the complete playlist into the description. You can go there and check it out. Coming to here the problem. And before I start the solution video, just a quick bit of disclaimer. This video is only for the educational purposes and I do not encourage plagiarism. The problem states here is that here is the menu at, the, at a restaurant which is close to Harvard and we as a programmer have to implement a program that is going to enable the user to place the order and this is if you can see the demo video this is the way the order need to be placed so one item at a time and once the user is done with the order placing the user can pr uh, press control and d that will end the program or input the or you can say the input to the from the user and after that it will display the cost of all the items that the user has input so far and that must be prefixed with a dollar sign as you can see here in the uh, demo video um, it starts with burrito then last uh, casadilla super casadilla which is not in the list and uh, let me stop it over here so if the item is not in the menu here then you in that very case as the programmer you need to keep prompting the user for the right input <clears throat> and once the user presses control d then we have to print total prefix with a dollar sign and up to the two decimal places with this background let us get into code spaces here i am already into the uh, directory and let us start writing the code here the first thing that i am going to do here is that i am going to copy the whole menu from here why reinvent the wheel when it is already there let me copy it from here and go to code spaces and paste it here super now I am going to create a variable called total and I am going to set it to 0. Reason being initially when the user has not selected or not input any item from this menu the total is 0 till that time. Once the user enters a valid item only then we need to add these prices. Therefore I have set the total is equal to 0 and I have to give this dictionary a name as well that is something which is missing here so let us call it menu as which is the most appropriate thing i believe now what i am going to do here is that i am going to write let me go one line down while true now try why try because we again as i said earlier i need to we as a programmer we need to reprompt the user if the user does not enter the correct item for example instead of super burrito if the user inputs only burrito okay burrito is here so let us medium burrito then we need to reprompt the user therefore i am going to write here try and i am now i am going to prompt the user using input function and i am going to select the and take the input here and i am going to take store this input into a variable called item at the same time I am going to change whatever user has entered if you see the demo video the user can enter here in any of the cases if you see it here yeah. although the name burrito it is given in capitals here if you see the second line where I am highlighting it here but the input user is largely giving it in any of the cases it can give but in order to retrieve the item from dictionary we need to have the same cases I will say therefore I am going to write here title what does title will do it is going to change the first letter of each word into an uppercase and this is one of the 47 methods which are associated with python strings I have already created a video where I have discussed about the 27 most frequently used python string methods I will give an iCard link above so that you can go and watch that video. Moving on next, except if the user is giving the input then 
okay otherwise except now i am going to handle the exception here how do we handle control d and here we have to check the hints what e, the cs50 is giving note that you can detect when the user has inputted control d by catching an uf error with a code like there and this is what i am going to write except eof error and at the same time if you see here when i was writing the code my prompt was i am just going to print one more line of uh, put here one more line of print because the prompt was getting into the same line if you see here i am going to move the user's cursor to the new line so i am not going to use slash n i am just putting here one print and then i will break out of the loop because once the user presses control d we need to get out of the loop so far so good now we need to check if the item entered by the user is it in the list of the menu or not let us do that what we need to do here is that for that i am going to use the if statement and if we go to the hints that is given by cs50 it is says it is saying that note that a dict comes with quite a few methods among them and supports operations like d key inside the square brackets and if key is in d where in d is a dict and key is a star i am going to follow the same uh, methodology here i am writing item in menu if the item is in menu then increase my total with what the item that user has entered so menu dot get item and then we need to print the price and i am going to use the f string for that total here and curly braces total dot to f i believe that it need to be prefixed with dollar sign as well yeah here it is dollar sign so i am missing the dollar sign let's put it over here and dollar sign here i think this is it and probably we need to give a separator as well so that the cursor remains on the same line let us see here now this is it this is the program let us try to run it python area dot pi i am going to enter first item let start with here okay burrito observe here in the demo video burrito is written in small caps whereas in the dict it all the item names are in title case enter 750 dollar next is what is there in the demo video last class nila okay Class, what is the spelling question? Mm. Okay, you see this item is not in the list of the menu. I think then it is next is super casdila. Yeah, super casdila. Okay, total seventeen. Again, it is matching here, and then here the there is control D. I am pressing control D. next is nachos taco nachos 11 dollars taco 14 dollar what next in the demo video again taco one more two two more time taco and then finally it should be 20 dollar here taco taco and then i am pressing control d and it is showing me 20 now i think we are good to go and check the do the cs50 check here uh, okay we can check here for taco as well i because i have already checked it but okay let's check it one more time taco 3 i think it is asking me to enter two time 
yeah two times type taco press enter and then type taco again press enter your program sh should output six dollars six dollars and here i am pressing control d let's straight away jump into the cs50 check here copy it and enter let us do the c50 check here verifying preparing uploading waiting for the results i'm oh, sorry let me bring it a little up okay here you can see everything is in green it means that our program has passed all the cs50 checks and we are good to submit it so this was it for this video if you find this video useful consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel and share it with your friends who are pursuing cs50 and as i have said here well while i was doing the title uh, i have already created a video for python strings and i have published quite a few videos for python basics if you want you can go to my channel and check the playlist called python basics till then happy coding